The defending four time state champs from Dillon at home to take on Strom Thurmond and surprise, surprise, Jermaine McDaniel leading the Wildcats on the field. That young man back in action and the fireworks were plenty tonight. Dillon's first possession, Johnny Allen takes a snap. He's in for the score. The all zoner looking mighty nice and uh, he will be uh, eating at the banquet in January. No doubt about it. Strom Thurmond, well, they're going to block the extra point. So it's six nothing after the touchdown. Yeah, Coach Hayes. He's just trying to figure out what he can do to put some points on the board. And it's Hawkins hitting Kenora McKinnon. And he's going to slip through. No one's going to catch number 14. He's going to put six more on the board. Two point conversion, no good. Makes it 12 nothing Dylan. Wildcats next possession. Hawkins again hitting McKinnon. And uh, yeah, he's just straight fast. That young man's got speed for days. Puts another six on the board. 19-0 Wildcats, and the route was on. Everybody, uh, yeah, smiles. It's all about business when it comes to Wildcat football. Later in the second quarter, Rebels on the move. Nick hands off to Simpkins. He pulls his way in, and Strom Thurmond is on the board down 19-7, but the Wildcats uh, continue to add on. Zerion Hayes. Right up the middle for another Dillon touchdown, 26 to seven. And then again, it's Allen Jukin jiving his way into the house. Man, that young man is special. 32 seven Wildcats and Dillon not done in the storing department. Hawkins hitting McKinnon yet again. Third time in the game, that connection results in a touchdown. The Wildcats cruise, they put 50 on Strom Thurmond, not unlike they put 50 on nearly everybody they've played in the last five years. 51-19 Wildcats, they improved to 11-1 and, and another step closer to reaching the state championship game for the fifth consecutive season, looking for their fifth consecutive state championship. Good win for them, but they've got a lot more to go, and that's exactly what Jackie Hayes said after the ball game. Real proud of them, but you know our goal is to get to uh, the Williams Bryce Stadium, and uh, we still got a couple more games before we can get there. I feel great. I feel like we played an awesome game all around, from the kicking game all the way down to defense, the offense. We just played a complete game as brothers. All right, it's nice to have Jermaine McDaniel in there. It looks like he is uh, back in action. Not a hundred percent, but. I'll tell you what, at 95%, that young man is special. At 70%, the senior is special. Committed to App State, he, uh, of course, will have surgery at the end of the season, but he wants to go out with uh, another championship ring, and I don't, uh, don't blame him. Timberland took care of Gilbert 49-29, so that means Timberland will travel to Dillon Memorial Stadium next Friday night to take on the Wildcats. Third round of, of course, the Class 3A state uh, playoffs. And a win there by Dillon would inch them one step closer to Williams Bryce in their fifth consecutive state championship, which by the way, nobody in South Carolina high school football history has ever won five consecutive state championships. And Dillon is just a couple of wins away.